Hello, hello. It is the end of 2020 and a true 2021 and I decided to end it with the kind of clothing that we all wore this year. Um, some old uh, jumper and uh, how do you call this thing? A tracksuit or something. Uh, so comfortable all clothes we were at home because nobody watches us because it's, it was 2020 and I hope this will stop in 2020 and in 2021 I'll be able to broadcast in a full glamorous shirt like some team bond or something but uh, you know you know what 2021 means it means that we're going straight for uh, the Malazon reread. I saw Andy Smith doing this uh, ranking video some time ago, and I was like, yes, I should probably do this before 2021. You know, tear uh, the books of the Malazon book series, so that I can actually watch uh, this uh, rating, this tiring when I am when I'm done reading the series and laugh at how wrong I was. So let's go and have a tearing of the Malazan book. Let's start with Guns of the Moon. I'll put it in the Ascendant category. Definitely Ascendant, it's a good book, a great start for the series. And definitely a high mark of it. I won't give anything less than that. It's one of those books you should read if you're a fantasy fan, regardless of uh, what you hear about the series, because it's really transformational and important about the series. Garden of the Moon is Ascendant Quality, and I say that Ascendant Quality is also the house keys, the second book, because, um, you know, the final 300 pages are amazing, but I think that a bit of going, getting there gets a bit rocky. In my opinion, I'm not quite sure. I'm looking forward to reread it. Uh, the first time it took me three days to read it <laughs> because there was no internet back then, so less distractions. And uh, yeah, maybe I should set up my Wi Fi for the months uh, coming, the era, the, you know, the times coming that I will be reading these books so I can uh, finish them quick. Uh, whatever, but let's go to Elder God tier, Numbers of Eyes, the third book, because it was just, um, it builds upon what we read in Guards of the Moon, it's very exciting, it's got amazing battles, lots of uh, stuff happening, I think I may have read it in three or four days, and it's much larger than the House Gate, so that should tell you something about how much I was reading uh, back then. And I think um, at least a couple of those books I've read in Christmas. House of Chains is... Uh... It meets uh, how it has high mage quality. I mean... Even the Lesser Tears Squad Maids is badass enough. I Maids is okay. Um, I think that's one of the weaker, one of the weaker books in the series. And definitely not my favorite. Uh, definitely my less favorite, come to think of it. Because it's. Kosh uh, Arlong. Because Kosh Arlong, that's. I can say, because Kosh Arlong, and that's enough. Now, Midnight Tides is also an ascendant book. I'm tempted to put it as an under god book. Definitely very good, definitely high quality status. Uh, not perfect. What am I doing? The Midnight Tides? No, that's Bone Hunters. You bonehead, that's Bone Hunters. I'm getting uh, confused because of the new covers. Yes, I'm a fake Malazan boy. And Bone Hunters is definitely under god quality, in my opinion. Things start to converge, make sense, and plots are getting wrapped up. And actually, it gives you a roadmap for what is happening on the next books. And I'll go for Reaper's Gale. I'm a bit confused about which of the two I like the most. To be honest, let me look at the notes of where I was right when I was reading them. <coughs> yeah, according to my notes, Reaper's Gale also goes to Elder God tier. So, continuing, we go to Dust of Dreams, which is a bit controversial. I'll have it in the Imperial Maids uh, tier because I think that um, really it's one of those books I'm looking forward to reread. 
with a more open mind because, uh, as I said in my When You Stop Reading Malazan, it's one of those books that um, it felt like a roadblock in my reading of Malazan Book of the Fallen. Like, there are things happening between Mepers Gale and Dustin Dreams, but we take a detour to resolve stuff that happened in previous books. So I was a bit disappointed at that, and I guess Dust of Dreams go to, goes to Ascendant category too. It's a good book, but it lacks closure, because it is um, that and Cripple God are one book, actually, and um, oh, Cripple God. That's a tough one. I mean, uh, I understand why people will put it in Elder God category. Because it's uh, the end of uh, the series and very important book and things that get resolved and revealed. But to me, on its own, and I'm actually reading these books on their own, not on what they're doing within the series and how important they are. I'm putting it in Ascend because it was good, but still it was lacking some of the things on its own. It builds a lot on stuff done in the previous series, which, okay, it's great. And also, that's a bit of a uh, contradict myself, because as I said that I don't rate them based on the series, but I got the feeling reading The Cripple God that it was a bit like um, this TV show called How Make Your Mother, where, um, if you remember this show, it was very controversial in its final season because there was uh, such growth, such um, great things happening, and we got to the ending, and the ending was probably the second season, and the series ended in season 9, and it seriously felt like it was dismissed a lot of the stuff that have happened and have evolved organically throughout the series. And I got the feeling that the Crypt God also suffers from that. There are a lot of things um, that happened in the series that had outgrown what they were supposed to do in the big picture of things. And I can think of two specific characters that were like, uh, exemplified this problem in different ways, but you'll have to wait two years for my review of the Cripple God after the reread. I'm sorry for that, but you can subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and you'll be virtually notified about this in two years' time. So yes, uh, I think that uh, the Cripple God is a sign may even flirt with Imperial Maids, but then again, uh, the final scene is... Uh, it's Elder God writing. If you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about, and you know what, after making this video, I hope you have fun, have a nice uh, change of the year, and 2021 be much more lenient. You know what, I'm looking forward to watching this video in two years' time, and saying, oh, I'm a dumb, dumb fuck. And not only because I switched uh, bone hunters for Midnight Tides, so have fun and thank you for watching. It's gonna be an interesting two years coming. Stay spooky.